Good afternoon, Eagle Nation. Today is Thursday, August 29th. I'm Jordan Ramsey. And I'm Madison Wells. So I'm sure, Jordan, that you know that with a new school year comes, most importantly, a new football season. That's right, Madison. <laughs> Just yesterday morning, Austin Middle School, located in Irving, Texas, experienced a three-hour lockdown due to a potential danger on school grounds. 7 a.m. that morning was when a parent called 911 to alert the police of a man carrying a rifle and possibly an additional handgun in the school parking lot. Although there are no other witnesses, the police still conducted a search due to the woman's emotions and the severity of the situation. After two extensive searches for the suspect around and in the school, the Irving police stated that they are 100% confident that the suspect retreated and that the school and kids are safe. Checking the computer networks of more than 22 cities in Texas, the ransomware attacks have been on the rise since 2017. Acting as a tactic for easy money, criminal hackers have been encrypting their victims' computers and demanding money, such as Bitcoin. The Texas state government has declined to state which cities have been hacked, but the FBI and Homeland Security are working hard to expose those behind the attacks. Good afternoon, Eagle Nation. Today is Thursday, October 31st. I'm Gordon, I mean Jordan Ramsey. <laughs> and I'm Madison Wells. Mia Matney highlights a very interesting class offered here at Prosper High School. How can this opportunity help students understand their future careers? That's right, Julia Bizayon highlights what this group is doing to change lives. Just last week, Frisco ISD became aware that one of their own students may have contracted and gone to school with typhoid fever. Typhoid is a very dangerous bacterial infection that is very rare in industrial countries like the U.S. and spreads through food, water, and close contact with anyone infected. Frisco ISD spent this past weekend vigorously deep cleaning their schools and are planning to change their health codes in order to better prevent dangerous situations like this. So Jordan, I don't know about you, but I have a Samsung and let's be honest, they're the best phone. <laughs> well, Madison, I actually prefer iPhones and I'm only on the 7, but they actually just came out with an <laughs> iPhone 11. Brennan Gibbons reports. Bruce Cray, a 75-year-old dementia patient, went missing last week on the 29th. He was last seen in the 13,000 block of Corte de Palace Drive in Little Elm, and his description fits him as a 6'2 male with gray hair. Little Elm first responders have been joined by local teams, including some from Prosper, in order to help find Cray. If you see him, please call 911 immediately.